Welcome back, everybody. Hello. It's NASCAR Werner's Cup Series time once again. As you see a Union Pacific freight train roll down the backstretch of today's track, which is odd because this is really, really far east for it. We are indeed at a different track this week. Last week was Homestead and Brendan Gone got a second career win. But this week, oh yes, we're at the paperclip. It's the Martinsville Speedway for the Spam 500. Oh, man. What am I doing? Well, what am I actually doing is taking you through the starting lineup. Pole sitter and defending winner, Crow T. Robot. Car number one will start in position number one. Then Marco Polo lines up to his outside. Al Roker. He qualifies in the third spot alongside the lone part-time driver that qualified. It's Pastor Maldonado. Snoop Dogg will line up to the outside of Hank Hill in row three. Then Bob Ross and Rick Scott, they'll make up the fourth row. Woody Woodpecker and Walter White round out your top ten. Morgan Freeman, Casper the Friendly Ghost. They exist next to each other in row six. Then Woody Harrelson and Brian Wilson. Kathy Bates and defending series champion Harrison Ford, who won this race two years ago. Make up row eight. Then row nine is Hut Strickland and rookie David Dayton. Row ten sees Billy Mays. Once again, and Carl Edwards, who actually made a race. Alfred Hitchcock in a do all Dodge row. Four Dodges in a row in qualifying here, as you can see. Next to Joe Biden. And then Jeff Lynn in a Chevy outside of Telly Savalas in a Dodge. Al Capone. Back here in row 13, along with Peter Perfect. Then John Cena to the inside of the of last week's winner, Brendan Gone. Rounding out your top 30 will be Tom Jones and Bela Fleck. Row 16. Team owner Richard Simmons owns Richard Simmons Racing, owns his other car he owns, starting right to the inside, it's Tom Hanks. Then Count Dracula will start next to Chick Corea in row 17. Row 18 is where Donald Fagan lines up. He's to the inside of Ian Anderson. Steven George and Denzel Washington will make up row 19. Then row 20. Sees Jerry Springer lining up next to Iggy Koopa. Starting from the rear of the field... The pole sit, not the pole sitter, the points leader, Getty Lee, and Burt Reynolds. Five cars did not make the field. There were three part-time entries. Of those part-time entries, uh, only Maldonado made it, starting there in fourth. Nathan McCain, whose teammate Rick Scott, starts seventh, and Rick Mass, who's Teammate and well, it's team owner, I guess. Woody Woodpecker starts 10th, failed to make it, as well as full time drivers Blaze Alexander, James Bond, and Grover Cleveland. Another thing to note, point out, is how bipolar the rush vendor racing cars were in qualifying. Two in the top three, and two more in the bottom four. And then Harrison Ford starting 16th. Now we're going to go trackside for the, for the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. A handy debug menu is being given to show more statistics. 
this time around. By this time around, I mean, of course, starting from now on. So, this is the Spam 500, Crow T Robot, and Marco Polo lead him off to turn four, the green flag is out, and we're underway here at Martinsville. You can see cars going three, oh, they're four wide at the back, contact! They save it for the moment, they're still four wide, David Dayton and Alfred Hitchcock Oh, man, oh, man. Was it Dayton, I believe, made the contact with Harrison Ford? Oh, they're still multi-wide. Multi-wide, that's a term. Oh, Carl getting squirrely, trying to get to the inside. Interesting that he qualified. He actually managed to qualify in here as... Historically, Martinsville has not been the strongest track. Al Roker has now made his way in the second, passing teammate Marco Polo with Hank Hill Ford. Rick Scott in fifth. But look at this action towards mid to the back of the pack as these cars try and sort themselves out. They are three wide still. Almost looks like a late afternoon start here to appease to the West Coast. It's something different. Crow T Robot trying to win this race in back to back years. The fastest car on track. Oh, Maldonado walks it a little wide as he's fallen back to 7th now as Walter White's gotten by. Is it 7th? At the moment, yes, but Bob Ross is trying to put Maldonado back to 8th. Can't quite get there yet. Oh, El Capone into the marbles. Meanwhile, up front, would you believe we're already on our eighth lap? Well, that's good. We got 125 to go here. I mean, 125 total here in the Spam 500. And as you can see, they actually pushed the pit wall a little bit back. And I think that's for safety reasons. I think it's a little less likely to hit it there than where it used to be right at the start of pit road of course if anybody remembers back to the, like the mid 90s there used to that wall on the back stretch where there's the garages there now that used to be a back stretch pit road it used to be a front stretch and a back stretch and none of this curving around the side business Gary Lee had climbed up some spots and then fell back some spots. There's Peter Perfect who almost won this race in 2018. No, he did win this race. I'm sorry, I said Harrison Ford was the winner in 2018. No, he won. He led from the pole for a lot of this race, but on pit stops, something happened. He dropped to last. He spent an extra minute in pit road. So he was two laps down. Pretty much, basically, three laps. You can see passing 
can definitely happen here. But there's a decent ebb and flow of stuff going on. Crow T Robot, your race leader. Um, yes. Al Roker holding it down in second. Harrison, not Harrison, that's Marco Polo and Hank Hill. This is going to be a good run for Hank Hill because he had the get in through go or go home qualifying this week. So this is going to be much needed. Another driver who who's right on that bubble too, who's needing a good run today, is Rick Scott. The Scottish driver, believe it or not. He won uh, his dual race at Daytona, but hasn't done much since. He's had a bad luck sort of year. But he's holding it down in fifth place at a track that's got to be unlike any other he's raced at thus far. It's our first short track race of the year, so... Walter White running in 6th place. It wasn't even sure that he was going to be running full-time this year until he got that win late in the year at Kansas. Uh, Walter White walking it wide there. That's going to allow Pastor Maldonado to get an opportunity at him. One he's not going to be able to capitalize on. Bob Ross now somehow hung on to the spot, even though he was way, he got way too much of a run on the high side there. Bob Ross, of course, nearly your champion last year. A lot of the Dodgers are, not the Dodgers, Fords are looking pretty strong. Today. Ninth is another Ford in Kathy Bates. And then tenth is Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson was in the... No, he was in the 11 last year. And he moved over to here, re reuniting with CGI Industries, the team he drove for two years ago in the Melling Series after Casper the Friendly Ghost left to go join... Uh... Red Bull. Now we sit here we're in 11th place. Oh, Woody Harrelson's got the fastest lap of the race. Harrison Ford, your defending champion. Did he, is he one here in Martinsville? I can't remember. I know he didn't win last year, but ugh. Woody Woodpecker in 12th. He's under fire from Billy Mays in a Pontiac. And your highest running dodge right now is Carl Edwards in 14th. That's crazy. Dodge did not... This could be some weakness to the Dodge program. Do How many races this year has Dodge even won? Because they won, they won last week. That might actually be their only tech... No, because Alfred Hitchcock or Grover Cleveland. They won Sonoma. Alpha won the 500. Uh, but nobody in the top 10. This is a sign of weakness. As Carl Edwards will take 13th away. Currently in 15th right now is Brian Wilson, who won at Phoenix. Where's Casper the Friendly Ghost? We were just talking about him a couple minutes ago. He's in 16th. Well, maybe not anymore, because here comes Morgan Freeman. The 17th. Right behind him in 18th is Morgan Freeman's teammate, Snoop Dogg. And another Pontiac, Chick Corea, 19th. And then Drag Race for 20th. It's Hut Strickland at the moment. 
And Joe Biden. 21st. Tom Jones, he's running in the 22nd spot. Alfred Hitchcock, 23rd. Then there's David Dayton. He's back there in 24th. And then there is the other... The other Pity Enterprise car that made the race. Al Capone's in the 25th spot. Then there's Jeff Lynn in 26th, who just ran his fastest lap of the race. Denzel Washington, 27th. John Cena, 28th. There's Tom Hanks, 29th. There's last week's winner, Brendan Gaughan, all the way back in 30th. Battle for 31st at the moment between Steve and George. The lone full-time reno. He's going to take that spot from Telly Savalas. Iggy Koopa and another Dodge. Peter Perfect. And another Dodge, his teammate, Donald Fagan in 35th. And then there's another Dodge of Burt Reynolds. They're all, all the Dodges are back here. Not bring a good uh, short track program. 37th is going to be Count Dracula, then Ian Anderson, 38th. Jerry Springer and Richard Simmons fight for 39th. Getty Lee is up to 41st, which means running last place is Bela Flack. As you can see, he's starting to enter turn 3 midway. He's in the turn 4, but your leader in the turn 3 is... Al Roker is falling back now. He's faded the fifth at the moment. And now, if we take to the spectator camera a little bit. Yeah, that, that thing's not natural. Dead pixels are not much fun. Anyway, look at the fastest laps. The four, fa the ten, top ten fastest cars are Woody Harrelson, uh, Kathy Bates, Marco Polo, Crow T Robot, Billy Mays. Harrison Ford, Chick Corea, Pastor Maldonado, Brian Wilson, and Bob Ross. An interesting mix of names there. Some names like Chick Corea a little bit farther in the back. Okay, he's not too much farther in the back, but still, the sentiment still remains. They are catching Bela Fleck and company. It's going to make this really interesting when lap traffic comes into play. By the way, for those of you who haven't quite been keeping track at home, we're past the quarter of the way mark. 38 laps complete in today's race, the Spam 500, here at Martinsville. I believe this is the shortest track the Cup Series goes to all year. I, yeah, I don't think there's any one, one shorter. Only a few other short tracks on the schedule. I don't know if Wilkes is on it. Bristol is only slightly longer. Richmond. I don't know what else. Even then, North Wilkesboro's date might be in jeopardy. I don't know. Gosh, it's almost impossible to tell who's leading. You might think Harrison Ford is trying to take the lead. Or you might think Snoop Dogg's the leader. Oh, look at that. This is a pretty good view. You can see the entire track pretty well. See, this is what you don't usually see. On TV, folks. This is why you should buy a ticket and go out to the races. Well, 
maybe not like right now because of the coronavirus, obviously, but anyway, I digress. It's starting to sound like the great <laughs> Pro T Robot Marco Polo and Hank Hill are under a blanket at the moment. Hank Hill taking aggressive line and trying to get to the inside of Marco Polo. Can't quite get there. Anyway, Crow continues to lead as the gap. Towards the back of the pack is... Second and a half off. Ooh, Chicory just nearly walked it into a wall. believe that's probably the biggest gap anywhere on the track now it is indeed between first and last place they're not making much headway though as Getty Lee is running only slightly he was only 16 one thousandths although technically this is a better indication yeah 19, so it's about a second and a half now. For a second, I thought there was no fans in the stand. Oh, there's contact. Somebody is burning out. Oh wait, no, that's just the uh, the animated scoreboard. That's crazy. As we. Anyway, after that, we are over 50 laps through this race. Sorry, I was just reflecting, I guess. Oh, doggy. Chick Korea is going to work his way up into the 16th position as he's going to Motor on by Billy Mays, who's slipping back. Now sets his sights on Hut Strickland driving the Hills Brothers Coffee. Decaffeinated. It's the decap scheme this week. Harrison Ford trying to crack the top 10. But he's got over a second to go. Top five cars now getting under a blanket. And this is a very interesting scenario, and I'll tell you why. Getty Lee is in last place. He owns four other cars. That's what he owns his own as well as four other cars. And where is one of those four running? Right there in second place. Could Getty Lee end up blocking to try and... Well, that point's about to become mute because Bela Fleck is about to become the last place driver. No, oh, no, he's getting a run. Bela Fleck, no. Getty Lee to the inside. It's an enticing battle. Good fight for 41st position. And it's going to clear coming off the corner. Maybe not quite. Bail 
Daniela Fleck looking to possibly do a crossover move. An interesting proposition at any track. Yeah, there are bigger gaps in the field now than the gap between last and first. <laughs> There's Ziggy Coop on the 42. Anyway, Carl Edwards is having the sort of race that he, I mean, honestly, he needs to be running. He needs to be winning races. Honestly, to just try and even get close to getting locked in. But just making the races as a start, now running well in them, that's another big factor. Rick Scott going for the third spot. Having the best run in a points race in his career. As we approach the halfway, it will be not this time by, but next time by down the back straight away. And you gotta wonder if pit stops are gonna be coming soon. And you gotta wonder if coming down early is gonna be any advantage, especially with how thick traffic is. It's it might just come down to whoever gets a better better uh the tires aren't really wearing down terribly much. So it's going to be a fuel stop. So it's going to be, it's going to really come down to whoever, whoever's got, whatever crew can get the fastest stop. So it might be a good, wise call here to take two tires. Top two cars have kind of broken. Ow, oh, what was I talking about? Crow is coming down the pit road. I think this is a scheduled pit stop. This should be. Marco Polo is now listed as your race leader. Yeah, I think it's it's got to be scheduled because Casper the Friendly Ghost is coming now. Man, they're coming down right before half. Well, there's Marco Polo next time by. Which means Rick Scott is going to be credited with leading a lap. Let's see. There's the right sides being changed on the... So he's doing a full four-tire stop. Not full tires. Most everybody. Rick Scott choosing to stay out another lap. Hank Hill is probably hoping that there is. There's the pace car. It's not actually at the end of pit road, but the middle of pit road. There's Rick Scott coming in this time by. Means Woody Harrelson will be picking up the lead of the race. Harrelson, where is... You see, there it is. Oh, Tally Savalas. Oh, a stack up. Oh, there's a wreck. Ian Anderson's around. As they get on the pit road. Caution is out. This changes everything. Drivers are, oh no, oh no, drivers are going to be trapped a lap down. Oh, Tom Hanks, oh my god, oh, what are you doing? Harrison Ford, oh, and on Strickland, almost. Oh god, what are you doing, Joe Biden? Joe Biden has just gotten in the... Oh, lord. 
Woody Harrelson is your race leader. He's got a lap. He's got... Oh, oh, Lord. Implications. Also, Tom Hanks, who is listed as your race leader. just been given this win. No. Poor Burt Reynolds. Woody Harrelson will be your race leader now. As it looks like only the top 15th on back is going to be trapped a lap down. Getty Lee and Bob Ross are a lap down. For certain. Oh, Lord. Those drives staying out turned out to be the winning strategy. Now. And interestingly enough, Marco Polo anyway got around Crow T Robot on pit stops. But leading the race is going to be Woody Harrelson, Hank Hill, Harrison Ford, Hutt Strickland. Alfred Hitchcock, Kathy Bates, Telly Savalas, Rick Scott, Stephen George, Donald Fagan, Iggy Kubel, Richard Simmons, Tom Hanks, and Ian Anderson. As Marco Polo leads us to what technically is back green. He is the control car, but your leader is... Most of this field is hoping for a quick caution here. Oh, look at this. It, uh, Strickland caught out on the outside. He's lost the spot to Alfred Hitchcock. Meanwhile, Marco Polo and Getty Lee racing for absolutely no reason. Hank Hill is the leader at the line that time. But Woody Harrelson is going to drive it in deep and now start actually trapping these guys an actual lap down. Count Dracula is the first. This has thrown everything into disarray. Oh, Lord. Marco Polo would be your leader. Joe Biden would have ended up in second. Oh my. This running order is all This is this is not what Carl Edwards needed at all. Well, as you this you can tell you firsthand luck does come into play. You can see oh Problem with the fuel system on Brendan Gaughan's car we are getting reports of. That's going to be very interesting to watch on the, the 62. Just a week after winning. Hank 
still caught up on the outside now. Woody Harrelson with a two lap car buffer over Harrison Ford. Is this, is he trying to get back the lost win? I think that's what Harrison Ford's trying to do. The lost win from 20, 2018. Alfred Hitchcock the third. David Dayton nearly into the wall. And go making a move for fourth place will be Hutt Strickland on Telly Savalas. Iggy Koopa's up here. Oh, look at this. One car lap. One lap car is all that separates Harrison Ford from uh, Woody Harrelson. I'm just a Woody Woodpecker. Probably because it's a Woody. Oh! Careful there. Count Dracula nearly took out Alfred Hitchcock. Hot Strickland trying to get around. Oh, Hot Strickland to the inside of Alfred Hitchcock. That is a race for position. And Denzel Washington's trying to get his lap back. That's going to allow Harrison Ford to get to the inside of the 32. This is a battle for the lead. Two lap cars back is Hot Strickland, who's never won. He's trying to get around Count Dracula, who somehow had his number throughout the corners. Now he's got a good run. He's getting close to the lapped car of Burt Reynolds. Reynolds runs it wide. Hot Strickland is there. Meanwhile, Harrison Ford trying to get by Denzel Washington is Woody Harrelson way wide. He's side by side with Burt Reynolds. What's this going to cause Hot to do? Hot runs wide. That's not good because here comes Count Dracula. No, he's clear. Is he going to go to the inside? Yes, he does. Oh, three wide in the corner. Oh, contact, but they save it. Burt Reynolds is being slow and holding up Cut Strickland and Woody Harrelson. But Harrison Ford's getting held up by the rest of the lap traffic. Hot Strickland now to the inside of Woody Harrelson. As we're underneath under 40 laps to go. Oh! And Donald Fagan is out of the race. He's cut a tire and it's damaged his car too much. Hot Strickland's also now in second place. Burt Reynolds still in the way. As Morgan Freeman now goes a lap down. 35 laps to go. Burt Reynolds underneath Morgan Freeman. Hot's got to get by these lap cars if he's to challenge Harrison Ford. He's having problems getting around... Getting her even a run on Morgan Freeman. But this time by, he's going to be inside a little bit. They're side by side. But Harrison Ford was just trying to take a look on Billy Mays. Because Billy Mays is high. Hot. Oh, he's going to clear Morgan Freeman off the corner. But now he's got to the, get to the inside of Burt Reynolds. Woody Harrelson walks it wide once again in the corner. There's Carl being Carl. Oh, Donald Fagan, that was a, a so-called lead lap car. Anyway, Burt Reynolds still in the way. He's the only thing, though, at the moment that separates Hutt Strickland from Harrison Ford. Not unless Morgan Freeman is going to interfere. Freeman's in 37th.
30 laps to go for Harrison Ford. Trying to get back the lost win. Morgan Freeman driving it really ag overly aggressive. And this is just holding up Hot Strickland who's ahead of him. Allowing Burt Reynolds to walk away. Lost in all this, Steven George up to 5th position. Now Burt Reynolds is all over the back of Harrison Ford to try and get his lap back. And Billy Mays bounced off the wall. Oh! Harrison Ford would love to get to the inside of him. Denzel Washington. 27 to go. Burt Reynolds walks it a little wide. Hut Strickland trying to close the gap. Now, Harrison Ford to the inside of Billy Mays. And Hut is going to run it a little wide, too. Oh, there's three wide. Oh, the race may have just gone away from Hot Strickland due to all the lap traffic that's now going to be between him and the race leader, Harrison Ford. Burt Reynolds. Oh, he nearly took out Billy Mays. You can't do that. Now here comes Morgan Freeman. Why is everybody on the planet ignoring the blue flag with the yellow stripe? Hut doesn't know what to do. He had one car between him and the race leader. Now he's got three. He's trying to get around. There's 23 to go. Now he's got two car separation. He's got to get around the dodges of Peter Perfect and Burt Reynolds. Perfect, it looks like he's not having a terrible amount of problems with, but Burt Reynolds has just been another story. He's got to do this quickly. Because Snoop Dogg is about to be another one that Harrison Ford could potentially put a lap down. He's gotten around Peter Perfect, but now he's got to chase down Burt Reynolds. Coming the 20 laps to go. Oh, they sort it out. Burt runs a little bit wide. 20 laps left. Hut is driving, trying to get to the inside of the two. Oh! Harrison Ford tried getting to the inside of Snoop Dogg. Hut tried getting to the inside of Burt Reynolds. Can he do it? Or will Harrison Ford hold on? Hut trickling to the inside. They're side by side as they go down the back stretch. He's going to have the line going into three. And at the moment, there's a bit of separation between S Snoop and Harrison Ford. Hot Strickland is now in position to try and track down the 97. Sixteen laps to go. Oh, he is right there on the back bumper. Only a couple car lengths. Can he do it? Oh, he's right there. No, now it's sixteen to go. It was seventeen. Oh, Hut runs almost slightly wide. Burt Reynolds runs wide a little bit farther back. 
Oh, look, it's been a bad day for that team. By that team. Oh, Hutt's running it wide once again. That's going to allow Harrison Ford to run away. And oh, what are you doing? Peter Perfect. Interfering in the battle for the win. With 15 to go. Peter Perp Fick clears the 90. Hot is really caught out by this. Peter Perfect may have just cost Hutt Strickland a chance at victory. Yes! Because here comes Telly Savalas to the inside now. Caught up by all this lap traffic. No! Telly Savalas is a lead lap car. That's for position. Peter Perfect has just ruined the outcome of this race. That's a damaged race car, too. Ten laps to go for Harrison Ford, who's all but got this now. Telly Savalas. No, trying to track him down. Savalas won here in the fall in 2018, I believe. We are hearing reports that Peter Perfect is going to get fined for his actions. Although, to be fair, what is he supposed to do? Just not go as fast as he can? Regardless, has taken what would have been an interesting battle for the win and completely taken it away. Harrison Ford. Just six laps away from picking up the victory that got away from him in 2018. It's not dead pixels, I'm an idiot. That's a weird gap in the screen. Five to go for Harrison Ford. Oh, Brendan Gaughan is faded back. This should be interesting to see how the points are going to shake up. Rick Scott's at least going to salvage a 13. Look at this. There's, they started to connect back again. Daddy Lee, yeah, I connect. Interesting. Scenes on track. The final nail in the coffin. As Harrison Ford will put Snoop Dogg a lap down, giving him a two-lap car buffer with two laps to go. Telly Savalas tried to track him down, but just didn't have the pace. Harrison, Hot Strickland might have gotten bit out by the same reason, but really... What did not help was Peter Perfect. Give credit, though, for Telly Savalas for never giving up. White flag is out here in the spam 
500. Harrison Ford just needs to not go down pit road, and he's got it. Oil leak. Tire. Tire issue on the 18, and an oil leak on Richard Simmons. Who's going to pit right at the end of the race? He couldn't even finish the race. There you have it, your official standings. Richard Simmons all falls from the top 10 down to 32nd. Technically, I guess he finishes. There's your results. Maldonado brings it home mid-pack after really getting shafted. Gone got shafted. Edwards got, everybody got shafted. Even Hot Strickland got shafted. Harrison Ford is your race winner. Let's Who gets the heartache award? It's Snoop Dogg. So. Let's see. We are we recording? Yes, we are recording. That was a long race. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. How are the points here? Getty Lee remains the points leader, probably because of, he's tied with Woody Woodpecker. Jeff Lynn up the third. Oh, Hut Strickland jumps back into the top ten because of this. A book gets leapfrog by Harrison Ford. Okay, let's see. No. Nobody falls in or out of the top 35. Count Dracula, though. Carl Edwards. Could have ended up getting at least 30 more points. Not that it would help much. He's up to 45th at least. Grover Cleveland is go big or go home this year. Two top fives and he's DNQ the other five races. Burt Reynolds has been all seven races and is 37th. Count Dracula did not get help today. Morgan Freeman, Snoop Dogg, David Dayton did not have a good run. Donald Fagan. Who is in position to gain at least a few spots and points right there at the end? You probably lost out on about a hundred points today. Maybe it's more like ninety. That would have been enough to put him in fortieth in points. So you can see Hank Hill. Charged, but not quite enough. To lock himself in. Kaminari just now falls outside of the top 40. <sighs> Grover
over Cleveland and Carl Edwards have made the least amount of races of all the full-time guys. But Cleveland has scored more points than James Bond. Alrighty, next week is more short track action. It's going to be Bristol. So that should be fun. It should be really fun. AJ Jones, who only made that one start, just now got passed by Carl Edwards in points. It's pretty sad. Melvin, he's Melvin not only made the second start and still couldn't get by AJ Jones in points. Lovely. All right. So next week is the TVA 500 at Bristol. Then there's a Melling race the day before. Oh, Harrison Ford wins. He's been one of the most dominant drivers. The defending champion wins a race. He won like three races two years ago. When you think of winning, you think of Harrison Ford. And I think well, that's all for today's race. See you next weekend right at Bristol. This has been a telecast of the Western Caves Sports Network. I'm announcer Western Caves, and you all have a good evening.